Awesome. So it should be recording now. Perfect. So what I wanted to share with you is, is my why for creating this program. Um, we basically came into some points as I was growing my agency where, you know, advertising gets expensive as you keep throwing money at it, you know, testing things, some things work, some things don't. And the biggest issue that we had was when we would create a funnel, you know, it was all great. We were driving traffic to it. And then once we'd stop, um, whether we wanted to go and test certain things or we, we knew that there was something wrong so we had to pause it, all of a sudden the traffic stopped, all of a sudden the lead stopped, all of a sudden the customer stopped. Um, and what I really wanted to focus on when we were growing our agency was a way to build uh, passive traffic and a passive lead source into the business where we'd invest a lot of time and money up front and the payoff would be compounded continuously. And that's really where organic shines. Um, a lot of the businesses that, that even we deal with in our agency are on kind of the whim of a single growth channel. And if something goes wrong, specifically, you know, Facebook Q4, really expensive to advertise, uh, they basically have to shut off their growth channels and all of a sudden there's not really much revenue coming in. Um, and we, we really didn't want to see that happen for a lot of our clients, especially for our own business. I really didn't want to see that happen. Um, so this is again, you know, kind of going back to the whole route of, of organic um, and what I really want you to be able to take away from this is an asset in your business, something that is tangible, has value, something that, you know, if you're going to sell your business later on, uh, will actually add value to your sale price as well. Um, and basically what I really want to distill down for you is all the experience and knowledge that I have from growing fast moving tech companies into something that's really easy to follow and really easy to build that asset out so that you have that in your business, you have that in your life. Um, you know, maybe it, it'll free up some time, maybe it'll free up some money, whatever it does for you. I, I want you to hit that end result. So the objectives of this program and the end goal that I want you to take away, I want everybody to take away from this, is to build that asset uh, with really targeted, high quality traffic. So traffic that is more likely to convert into leads than any other traffic source you're driving into your business right now. I also want you to be able to grow that asset to a point where you're able to drive, um, you know, quantified, I put a thousand monthly unique visitors here from whatever organic channel, but in reality, I want you to get between hundred to 200 email leads coming into the business every single month at the end of this eight weeks. Because at the end of this eight weeks, 100 to 200 people every single month means there is a potential for sales there off the bat. And what I really want to do in terms of foundation here is get you on track to build a six-figure year marketing channel from this marketing, from the specific marketing channel. Um, when we worked with clients in the past, what we found is, is about six months after going through this type of flow and creating this type of asset is when they're on track to do high five figures, low six figures a year from this one marketing channel. I want, to get you, I want to get you on track for that. Now, what is content marketing? So I want to go through some of the information here so you have a good understanding of basically what content marketing is as most people see it, what SEO is as most people see it, and then what SEO driven content marketing really is. So what that accumulation is. Um, so content marketing for most people in most of their definitions is creating and distributing valuable, relevant, and action oriented content, uh, content to a specific audience. So, you know, for IBM, that specific audience in their cloud services division are large companies that typically have a tech base. They're distributing that information into a management executive level person. That's not super technical, but at least knows the ins and outs. So they're creating content specifically for those people and distributing it specifically to those people. Often this content is created to attract that audience and then acquire them as a lead um, and ideally as a user or customer if they have that direct of a sales process. Uh, often this is really just tied as a way to educate your prospects and educate your leads during the sale. So it's not directly an acquisition model. It's more about you know what that audience is. You may have that audience in place you're educating them and bringing them to the point of being able to being able to be sold. So typically it's at the lead stage where content marketing really, really goes through it and does what it's supposed to do. In the end is basically a process to create and distribute valuable content that teaches a very targeted audience, educates them and acquires them in some form, whether it is a sale or whether it's just pre-qualifying them even further for sales. 
Now, SEO, on the other hand, I'm sure most of you have had a pretty awful experience with SEO, uh, at least out of the hundred or so people that I talked to in the last few weeks, um, specifically about uh, while doing content research and things for this course, most of them had a pretty bad experience with SEO at some point or another. Um, and that's just, you know, that's kind of the connotation that comes along with it. Um, and SEO, when we talk about it, is basically just impacting the visibility of a website on Google. Um, so, you know, showing up higher in those search rankings when someone searches, you know, HVAC companies in Toronto, that's SEO. Um, and often it's really associated with a local business. You don't really hear a lot of national companies or infopreneurs or anybody in the space where they deal across the world talking about SEO and associating it with their business. They may talk about content marketing because that is the, that is thought of as a more national scaled version of it. Um, but in reality, they have their own two practices and the kind of summation there is, you know, SEO is a process of making your valuable education oriented content appear higher in search rankings. Uh, and the result is they're getting that targeted audience that's looking for information. So, you know, kind of the accumulation there between the two, really what I'm trying to say there is SEO is in reality, all about just getting in front of that audience while content marketing is really about selling and educating that audience. So the two really work hand in hand, but they're really thought of as two very separate things. So when we say SEO driven content marketing, this is probably one of the best examples that I could find um, that, really, that really gives a good summary of exactly what I'm after. This is an article uh, on drax.com. They, they have coconut oil products and things like that. It's, it's, it's a lot of health oriented products and supplements and things. And this coconut oil benefits article is really the ultimate summation of SEO cross with content marketing. It's a phenomenal article that educates people on the benefits of coconut oil while at the same time educating them and informing them. And it also has the ability to rank on Google because it is just that good. When you cross the two, what you get is an article like this that is responsible for hundreds of thousands of dollars in revenue for this business. Uh, it's quite a significant amount of revenue and traffic that's coming from this particular article, which is why, why I chose it. Uh, Cause it's a really good established, established example of what SEO driven content marketing can really do for a business, uh, especially one that's not even in the B2B realm. It's kind of in the B2C realm, which is significantly more competitive. So, then essentially what SEO driven marketing is, is it's a distilled formula leveraging the education oriented content from content marketing and also leveraging the organic search benefits of SEO oriented content. We're basically crossing the two together. And this formula is very much made for that national international focused audience where there's a high, high amount of competition um, and it's all about driving traffic at a national scale. It's really a way for you to create really phenomenal content that's really highly valuable and really educates and teaches people what you know, and also allows you to show up on search results as an added benefit. So that means you're getting really awesome quality traffic that then gets educated and is ready to become a leader or even a sale right off the bat. That's essentially what we're building uh, all together. Um, and because there's a ton of theory, I also just kind of want to dive right into questions right here um, because it's a lot to take in. It's, it's definitely a lot to take in, but uh, mainly question wise, what I'd, I'd love to hear is just your feedback on that. I'd love to understand what your thoughts are on the, on the accumulation of the two. Is there any particular um, existing thoughts around SEO or content marketing that you may have that you may want me to address um, or anything like that? If not, then, you know, great. And we'll, we'll kind of jump into the next phase, which is right towards action. And if you don't see it, there's a chat box, chat button. Um, it might be under the more section and then you click chat or uh, you can feel free to unmute yourself and just ask. Awesome. No questions. Cool. Um, feel free to drop them in if you do have them and I accidentally skip by you. That's all good. Um, but I, what I, what I probably should have mentioned is this call is going to be relatively quick because the theory is really the base of everything. And as long as you understand and you're all good with that, then you've covered off a really big barrier. Um, that's why I chose you instead of 
some of the other folks that applied because yeah, I thought you had a bit more of a good understanding of it, uh, which is why you know it allows for everything else to kind of move along uh, smoother. So we'll dive right into action items and the slides for this will almost immediately within a, within a like 20, 30 minutes after this call be in the membership site. So don't worry about trying to, you know, take down this URL. Uh, it'll be there for you as a PDF very, very shortly. Um, but basically what I want to do in terms of creating some action steps here for the first week uh, is have you go through and define your very specific customer avatar and the target audience you want to go after. The reason why is if you don't have a good understanding of who you're going after, you're going to end up targeting a lot of not so great quality traffic. Um, essentially what you're going to be getting is a lot of traffic that may be somewhat related to your market or, you know, something along those lines, but it's not targeted enough. You're driving buyer traffic. So there's a few action items that I have, and I even have some surveys that are in the membership site. Um, I know some of you have actually filled them out already, uh, which is, you know, awesome. But uh, basically what I want to understand as well for our calls is who your ideal customer is, what the problem and the solution that they're after are. And that way I can also help you along with the next stages that revolve around creating your strategy um, on how exactly to identify how to target those folks uh, as it relates to SEO and as it relates to content marketing. Um, the worksheets right here, again, that'll be in the, uh, that'll be in the membership site. But essentially, here's an example of what I'm trying to derive out of, out of you going through this process. Um, so this is an example directly from a client, a client that I modeled a lot of this program after because we had phenomenal results with them. But this is what we did with the, within the first month with them. We tried to understand exactly who they were going after so that we could eliminate the noise of their, of their competition and go after that specific customer. So in their, realm, in, in their realm, they're an agency that's aiming at low to mid budget services. So they have a software product that's $49 a month up to $90 a month. And in reality, they want customer to be worth about $100 or so on the low end, which means three months in, uh, in monthly recurring, of monthly recurring revenue. And then they have a high-end agency model that goes from $500 a month to $1,000 a month. Uh, and similarly, they're kind of looking at customer lifetime value. They are after folks who have a 15, who, have a, who are, in, are in an agency, have 15 plus customers already, so they're already doing between about $250,000 and $750,000 a year, and they're struggling with recurring revenue specifically. So they're not an agency that deals in Facebook ads that doesn't have issues with recurring revenue. They're talking about agencies that, ha that do like mobile design and have tons of issues with recurring revenue, and that's their sweet spot. They want, they want agency customers who really want an easy way out in, profit, in increasing their profit margin. So a customer who basically is, you know, I want this profit you know, yesterday and I want something that's super simple that we can just sell to our customers immediately to get there. And they have three sections of customers that they were dealing with that, uh, that, are, that fit this model. One is when they're information seeking, they're in that mode of how do I make money as an agency? So I'm growing an agency, I'm growing a digital agency. How do I make money doing that? They catch some people at that stage. Those are the folks that are less likely to convert because they need education. The middle tier of folks are folks that are already searching for white labeling solutions. They're saying, hey, if I just resell stuff in my agency, I can make some money. So what can I white label? And they're on Google searching white label softwares, white label services, things like that. Again, you know, they don't convert as well in this stage, but there's a good amount of folks there and through a sales, a really solid sales process, you can make a lot, of, a lot of these guys turn into sales with some good education and some good, uh, good follow-up sequences. The folks that we most wanted to focus on with them was the solution apparent folks. So they're agencies, they know they want to resell, and they know that the complimentary service is mobile. So they do web design or maybe they already do mobile websites and they just say, hey, I want to sell an app to these exact same people. So they're searching directly for a white label mobile app builder. And that may sound completely outrageous, but there's 2,000 people that search that every single month. 
and we capture 1500 of those for our, for our client. And it, it's a lot of revenue. Um, but this is really where we dialed in and this is the level of, of how detailed I want to see um, the information that's coming from you because when you know it at this level, it becomes really easy to create an awesome strategy that generates you a ton of revenue. Um, the great example with these guys, and I love that I, that I can really model that around these guys, is they were doing about $800,000 in revenue last year. Now they're doing 3.5 million and a very big majority of it is from organic traffic. Um, and it was just because we dialed in much, much deeper on exactly who they were after and exactly who would generate them the most revenue. Um, and that was just because we really knew their target and they really knew their demographics. So three main action items, and this really won't take a whole lot of time um, because I also want to review it with you. So, you know, you don't need to take a whole bunch of time here, but number one, uh, there's a business intelligence survey in the, in the membership site. Uh, fill that out. Uh, I think it's about 15 questions. Shouldn't take you much longer than, you know, 15, 20 minutes. Um, number two, fill out the target customer survey again in the membership site as well. Uh, and again, I, I think it's about 15 to 20 questions. Um, basically that'll give me a good understanding of who the very specific customer you're after is. Uh, and basically it'll also allow me to do some research to help you figure out exactly how to target those folks. And the third, uh, this is so that we're on really good footing for week two and week three, because we're going to move really quickly. Uh, book your one-on-one -on -one call. The one-on-one -on -one call I'm going to take with you to review this information and make sure we have a really solid foundation to go after with your 90 day strategy. Uh, because what I'm going to do for every single person in the pilot program is I'm going to build, uh, I'm going to build out the framework at least of your 90 day strategy. Uh, because I want you to be able to move just to be able to move fast and not get bogged down by tools and things like that. Um, so I'll still teach you how to do it, but I'm going to help you do it and move along much faster. Uh, because I, I know some of the folks that I coach one-on-one -on -one have struggled with this in the past. Um, and so I want to get you past that barrier first because it's not something you'll necessarily have to do over and over again. Once you've done it once you're in good shape. Um, my one suggestion, because these are all on Typeform, which is a survey platform, do everything in a text doc first and copy and paste it in. Uh, I've done this in the past quite often myself where I, I type in answers into there and then all of a sudden my browser closes or something and I've lost 20, 30 minutes worth of work. Don't do that. Do it in a text doc, copy and paste it in. I'm perfectly fine if you know the formatting doesn't carry over. It's not a big deal. Um, but yeah, that's everything I wanted to cover this week in terms of information. The action items are the more specific, more, uh, more crucial things. Um, and I've blocked, uh, I've actually cut off a bunch of, a bunch of stuff from my schedule this week. So you should be able to book your one-on-one -on -one call, uh, in the next 10 to 14 days or so. You don't have to do it before week two, but ideally in the next 10 days or so, uh, you grab a call with me so we can go through this information, uh, and really get you sorted out for, uh, for week three, when we go through your actual strategy. Um, now, is there any, any questions or anything arising from this? Um, whether it's about any of the stuff we covered or the action items or anything in particular at all. And you can feel free to like unmute yourself if you don't want to type in the chat. Um, cause I know it takes longer to chat than, the, or to type in the chat than it does to just speak. No, I'm good. Awesome. All right. Um, so that is, that is pretty much everything. I'm going to stop the recording.